There are two types of isolators that you're going to find in use. An older design is the galvanic isolator with what's called a status monitoring system. Now that was required for older uh, designs to maintain uh, the integrity of the system. And basically you can see on this right here, there are two lights on this one. Uh, green light means the system was working. We had a red light, that means there was an issue with something and it had to be tested. And they were also had that remote panel, so again, the uh, boat owner would be alerted possibly with an alarm or a series of lights if the galvanic isolator was not functioning correctly. Newer models are what's called the fail-safe, and the fail-safe system still uses a set of diodes. It's not required to have a status monitoring system uh, because it, when it fails, it will fail in the closed mode, still allowing any AC fault current to leave the boat through the green grounding wire. So we're all set here with our plug in plug out test. Remember the reference cell in the water is in the negative and we have the red going over to the engine negative or the DC um, ground bus, whichever is closest to whatever we can get uh, easiest to. And what we want to do is with the reference cell in the water, we want to get a measurement. And right now this, this plug in plug out test, we've got the shore power cord disconnected. So the reference cells in the water were hooked up to the DC negative, but the shore power cord is not plugged into the dock wiring. And what you're seeing is our measurement of about negative 0.742. So um, that's our reading. And now what we need to do is go and take that shore power cord and plug it in. And what we're looking to see is that reading change uh, very little. You know, ideally we want to see no change, very little change. Uh, if there's a substantial amount of change, that may be a sign of an ineffective galvanic isolator, uh, a galvanic isolator is just not working, and in some cases it just might mean that your boat has a uh, isolation transformer on it. So that's the boat plug-in, plug-out test. Okay, so we've plugged into the dock now and we see that our numbers are pretty close, which is indication that everything is okay on board in terms of galvanic isolation. So uh, that's where we want to be. And again, if those numbers appreciably change, it may be uh, a sign of that galvanic isolator having an issue. And that is something else you'll have to test.